dogs and they are still running which is what they do now interestingly enough it seems like they've sort of changed direction a bit now which is good news for us um there we are they're still running and trotting around um, they were starting to head south towards sort of the mala mala boundary but it seems like all the chaos is sort of calming down a little bit and we can actually catch our breath a little bit which is good now you can see they are scent marking heavily so this is two males and a female and this pack comes all the way from an area called Lower Sabi which is far 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 on the eastern side of the Kruger National Park from here it's probably about 70 kilometers away so they've come from a long 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 way now there's still one more dog that's in front of us so if that one starts to move then I will catch up with them although I see they are running so let's get up and going but he was just scent marking there making sure that everybody knows this is our territory and this is where we go now, you see how it's sniffing around and it is sort of that time of the year where the dogs will be mating so you'll find that if the female has scented there he might be just sniffing her just to see if she is actually in heat and whether or not she can be mated with the exciting thing is is if these three dogs do decide to mate the nice thing with that is that these dogs have been spending so much time in this northern area that if they do den, maybe we'll just get lucky and we'll get a wild dog den for the winter. And wouldn't that be amazing? Now, the wild dog dens are incredible. You'll have these, basically a termite mound that they'll use and they'll have their young ones inside there. And then every day they go off and hunt and come back and hunt and come back. And you get these tiny little puppies that you get to see every day. It really is super spectacular. So I'm hoping that we do get that. That will be absolutely amazing. Hello guys, now we're having a bit of a drink because when you are a wild dog and you run around like hooligans you then build up quite a bit of excess heat and so you often find they run into water to drink and then they just kind of lap up lots of gulp. Now, on the way we go again. Evil underwear gnome. I do enjoy your Twitter handle. You would like to know how many wild dogs can be in a pack. Well, it depends. I mean, I've seen... The biggest pack that I've seen is 32, which used to come from the Manjaleti, and we did see it here in the northern Sabi Sands a few times. But um, I've heard of packs and read about packs that were over 70. So they do get quite big. Nowadays, unfortunately, because their numbers are so low, this has become one of the most endangered carnivores in Africa. Their numbers have really sort of plummeted, and they're aren't as many of them as they used to be and so the pack sizes generally are quite small but um, on average in, in the Kruger the pack sizes I would say on average were probably around 10 to 12 dogs and the biggest pack in Kruger currently I think is something around 25 or 26 there's a two packs that are around that size one is around open gate which is north of us and then the other one is around a camp in the Kruger National Park called Lataba which is also further north so it seems like the big packs are the ones in the north and the reason for that is probably because that area is not as dense well I suppose it is quite dense with lions but they tend to be able to have big open clearings so they can avoid lions and hyenas quite well so it probably denotes why they're so big in that area now I do just need to let the guys know that I am still following these dogs because Texan is on his way here and he's trying to get an update so I just need to let him know. Uh, yeah Tex we're still mobile in a sort of southeasterly direction on central we've just gone past uh, Juma Dam Road. Uh, they're going quite quickly I don't know if you'll make it but you can try. So just telling Tax, I don't think he's going to make it. He's a very long way from where we are, and they are still running straight southwards. Um, so you can see that dog's just stopped there. Your friends have gone the other way. So Judy, male and female dogs, they're not that sort of dissimilar. They actually look quite similar, but I know this pack very, very well. So that's why I know it's the two males and a female. But generally with the male, they tend to get sort of thicker collars of fur around the neck area, almost like a male lion gets his mane. The wild dogs, the male sometimes gets that sort of thicker collar. That coupled with the fact that they've got rather large testicles and so it's quite easy to see when they turn side on you can see their male appendage quite well and it's easy then to decide which one is male and female but we are starting to get rained on a little bit so I'm just going to cover up 
but it is so amazing to be with the wild dogs and the fact that we are on our own with them at the moment is so special generally wild dogs causes absolute chaos and while they were on Chitwa there was so many vehicles that wanted to come here but now that we've gone onto Cheetah Plains nobody else is around and so we are luckily enough able to follow these dogs by ourselves which is incredible but these dogs are probably the hardest dogs I've ever had to follow in my time with wild dogs they never stop moving they always 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 like this they hardly ever lie down even after a big meal like you can see with their tummies being so swollen they're still on the move and still running and still trying to head back into an area that they feel safe now trying to just see where we're going to end up but it looks like we are almost at the double M boundary which is a bit of a shame because we're going to end up then crossing into that way. I was hoping that they were going to head a little bit further east and we were going to go towards Cheetah Plains open and we were going to see these dogs bounding through that open area. That was going to be sort of such a special sight but I suppose we can't win them all and we've been so spoiled anyway just to be able to find them. Now where have they gone? Oh there they are. Oh, you can see how difficult it becomes to keep up with them when they go through grass like this. They've just disappeared. They literally have just run off the road right here and are almost invisible now. So I think what we're going to have to try and do, it seems I don't think we're going to see them there. Unfortunately, they've run already. So what I'm going to try to do is just take this road round and just see if I can't find where they're going to pop out again. Oof, but it's horrible inside there. It's not a place that you're going to be able to follow wild dogs. The grass is so long that you're going to end up hitting massive stumps. Right, so I'm going to try and see if I can't relocate and find these hounds as they run along through the bush. And while we do that, let's go across to Taylor, who's having probably a little bit more of a sedate start to 